Hello everyone and welcome to a really wild game and a very enjoyable one at that that ended pretty much uh, as soon as it started. It's a, it's a really sharp attacking game uh, between two very very sharp players, Ivan Sharic of Croatia versus Yanni Pomnishi. And uh, uh, like, uh, like I said, even uh, in the round that we've covered where Alireza played against Sharic, Alireza won that game, but even Alireza uh, did not play the open Sicilian against him as he is really known as an incredibly sharp Sicilian player <laughs> with both white and black. Uh, so here you will just see uh, how, how sharp I mean. Uh, so Ivan has the white pieces and he opens with e4. Uh, and uh, again, this is one of those games where uh, you just see how, how unforgiving uh, main lines can be in chess. So e4, we have c5, the Sicilian defense by Nepo, knight to f3, d6, and now d4 the open sicilian captures captures knight to f6 knight to c3 and uh, a6 the knight of sicilian is on the board with bishop to e3 and pawn to e5 uh, the english uh, attack uh, so the knight has to move knight back to b3 and bishop to e6 with f3 again this is all main line bishop to e7 and queen to d2 and here uh, the main line uh, uh, when i say the main line i mean the absolute main line is the castle uh yang goes for the second most popular option that is knight b to d7 and even replies with g4 so it's the the most standard setup pawns on f3 e4 you want to play g4 h4 h5 g5 and crush the uh, the black king uh, and of course jan will castle queen side or uh, in fact he might even uh, uh not queen side he will castle a king side or he will uh keep the king in the center of the board so here we have h6 preventing g5 uh, and uh queen side castles by even we have pawn to b5 nepo starts his expansion on the queen side and the king to b1 uh, always very useful when the dark square bishop is still on the board if the position opens up the knight moves the bishop moves somehow this bishop comes to g5 the king is in c1 uh you know it, it, it's not the only reason of course uh, also the rook will come to c8 at some point maybe so the king really does belong on b1 sometimes even a1 so here knight to b6 uh, the knight now coming to uh, c4 also you have control over d5 so you might be able to push it but uh, um, uh, white also has very excellent control over the d5 square so here queen to f2 attacking the knight and rook to b8 now uh, and here we have pawn to h4 uh, also uh, very popular is to go for this knight to c5 it's a tricky idea of course the pawn uh, cannot uh, capture you you will lose the queen but then black uh, gets the initiative going with pawn to b4 so uh, even decides to uh, just keep it uh, where it is so he starts advancing the pawns on the king side pawn to h4 and now uh, here usually queen to c7 and b4 are played uh, but Nepo plays a move that has only been played once before and that is knight to a4 and and uh, it would seem that Nepo mixed up uh, his lines or he didn't. It's not exactly that this move is losing. It's that it's it's so far on the edge of, of just uh, being dead lost uh, that uh, even if he didn't mess up lines, I believe Nepo is one of those players that uh, he's the only one that would play this willingly, uh, you know, as he often plays we weird lines and, uh, uh, you know, uh, th thrives in those, those positions. But okay, uh, Knight to d5. Uh, and now bishop captures on d5, e captures, and we finally reach the new position. There is one game where queen to c7 was played. It was played in 2002 between Greg Shahadi and Johan Alvarez Marquez. Uh, but here uh, we have knight to d7, and it is now as of move 16 that we have a completely new game. And uh, now bishop to d3. If you allow the engine to brute force this, the engine just says f4 and black can resign. Uh, of course, now, now that you see it, you, you kind of believe the engine, but it's still very hard to, uh, to realize why e captures on f4 bishop captures uh, and what do you play uh, it's, i mean your king is in the center of the board but still it, it's a complete mess of a position uh, point is if you castle then g5 uh, h5 let's say knight to d4 the knight is coming to f5 uh, there's still moves to be made but with uh, you know uh, perfect play uh, shouldn't be a problem uh, but okay here we have bishop to d3 even chooses a different approach we have queen to c7 and now pawn to g5 uh, we have knight uh, beat uh, a knight d to b6 getting the other knight to c4 g captures on h6 g captures and now pawn to f4 this move of course will be played at some point so now it's time to open up the the black king's position and now uh, if you capture on d5 you don't really gain all that much for example knight captures we're just going to move the bishop keep it to control all, all of these squares and now uh it's very hard to find a good move for black if he captures here you just play rook, rook to e1 and uh the, uh, you don't have an attack with black 
uh, but your position is just uh, uh, you know completely wide open white will you know w with a few more moves in white will have a very easy uh, time playing this like queen d4 attacks the knight attacks the rook and h8 the, the position is too full of holes so after f4 uh, knight to c4 instead by nepo uh, now attacking the bishop and putting pressure on that b2 pawn with both of the knights and so uh, even eliminates the knight even though this opens up the b file but he calculates it properly b ca bishop captures on c4 b captures on c4 and now uh, your knight is hanging and you have to decide what to do here so feel free to pause the video and try to find the absolute best move for white uh, while i give you a couple of seconds So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on not touching the knight, as that would be pretty weird. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it is, of course, F captures on E5. That's the move that wins the game. And uh, Nepo doesn't really have a better option uh, than, than to capture the knight here. So he does C captures on B3. A captures on b3, kicking away the knight, and the knight to c5. But now just rook h to f1. You could also play rook to e1. You could also play e captures on d6. Uh, the black king is just too weak in the center of the board. Even goes for rook to f1 as it comes with the immediate threat of queen captures on f7. So Nepo defends it, rook to f8, and now bishop captures on h6. It goes after the rook. Uh, it's the simplest way to play this. Uh, we have d captures on e5, and now bishop captures on f8 as the rook cannot move bishop captures and now pawn to h5 now uh, if you start marching this pawn up the board is game over so nepo has to keep an eye on that h6 square but even finds an instant breakthrough that um, you know completely uh, shatters jan's position and that is pawn to d6 he gives up this pawn to completely discoordinate jan's pieces as now you can't keep an eye on the d6 pawn on the f7 pawn and on the h6 square that uh, is crucial for this white pawn to start marching forward so it's basically the principle of three weaknesses which is not something we see very often so rook captures on d6 rook captures on d6 we end now bishop captures on d6 if you play queen captures of course queen captures on f7 so bishop captures on d6 but now we have full control over the h6 square and that means the pawn starts marching forward pawn to h6 uh, nepo starts advancing the e pawn but just h7 we have bishop to e5 guarding the h8 square uh, but now queen to g1 preparing check and then we are going to promote this pawn and there is no move that Jan can make here few more moves were played knight to e6 to help out with the defense of the king but now just queen to g8 with check knight to f8 and a uh, and now first rook to f5 not going for h8 right away uh, first attacking the bishop uh, hoping for rook captures bishop queen captures and then this uh, but you don't really have to do this bishop to d4 uh, we have h8 with queen bishop captures on h8 a queen captures on h8 and he was in this position on move 36 uh, that Yanni Pomnishi resigned the game as there uh, is nothing more to be done here. You're down the exchange uh, and there is really no move you can make. If you start pushing the pawn, rookie 5 just wins the pawn uh, so that, that that would be weird. And if you try something like king e7 to unpin maybe to get the knight into the game, we can even trade queens. I mean, there are better moves but even this is you know good enough to, to actually win the game just rook captures on e4 uh, and of course the position is completely winning. So really, really weird game game uh shari shows uh, just how far his uh, preparation goes as uh, like we mentioned he's also a member of the magnus carlson camp uh and obviously they are doing quite a lot of work but uh, i'm pretty sure he does quite a lot of work on on his own as well uh, and here uh you know uh, but I still, I still can't decide if uh, uh, the move that um, uh, Nepo went for this knight to c4 idea, uh, uh, sorry, knight to a4 idea is is his. Uh, uh, own choice uh, did he mix up lines or did or does he know that that this is incredibly incredibly tricky uh, and he still decided to play it but even just pulled it off properly so it's hard to say with nepo you never know at uh, this time uh you know regardless of, of, of which it is uh, it didn't uh, it didn't work uh so yeah uh, that's the game i uh, really hope you guys enjoyed it uh, always play the sicilian uh, you will have great games with both white and black it's it's a beautiful opening uh, i would like to thank dominic albers uh, gordon mercer tsanko solo right travis and michael Calbera for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. Continuing uh, to check up on your wonderful suggestions, and of course, continuing the coverage of the Super United Rapid and Blitz tournament in Croatia until it finishes. Uh, thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.